What's up, fellow journeyers? Journeyers, are you a journeyer? <laughs> Got some allergy stuff yeah. going on, huh? <laughs> so we have reached, I think at least, unless something changes, what will be the farthest point of this route, which is Acadia National Park. So this national park is on a peninsula, which I thought was a peninsula. It's actually two peninsulas. And we're on the second, first or second, however you want to view it. But this is the Skudik Peninsula, which is the way less traveled peninsula. So the Bar Harbor, I don't know if a lot of your parks are like this. They have multiple entrances, multiple areas. Um, Grand Canyon comes to mind where you've got like the busy, I don't want to say touristy, but way busier entrance in the middle than like on the east side of where we stayed. I don't know, kind of get two different experiences I feel like here. Not as much to do on this peninsula, but man, it is quiet. I mean, and it is dark and <laughs> like there's no ambient light. There's no ambient noises. I hear like somebody's truck over here in the distance, but usually, I mean, the sights are like spacious and beautiful and lush. And since we started arriving in Acadia, we also got lots of family and friends that are wanting to arrive in Acadia because Acadia is awesome. First of which flew in last night, Brendan. <laughs> he got in pretty late. About 1.30. Yeah, 1.30. Long rod. <laughs> Long. Long. Good news is with the new rig, uh, way easier, easy for him to come in, easy for him to have his own bed, his own space. Not bad. I think he slept pretty good. This one actually kept everybody up, I think. A lot more comfortable than the airstream. <laughs> and so if you're 40 feet, which we are, and you want to stay in Acadia National Park, this is the only, at least on paper, I'm not saying... Maybe there are sites you could fit into over on the other peninsula. But from what I researched and what I read, this is the only one that officially has something where you can comfortably fit in with a 40 foot RV. And when I say comfortably, I mean insanely comfortable. Look, look how long this just keeps going and going and going and going. And like this site isn't unusual. I would say 60 plus percent of the sites, this has gotta be like 80 feet or something nuts. I mean, look at that stretch over there. I mean, they're pull through super long get any rig you want into type sites water and electric 40 bucks but you're paying for what is typically the quietness of this area other than this guy i don't know if he's pumping sewage or what he's doing over there you'll just have to take my word for it it's like one of the quietest campgrounds we've ever stayed at other than us other than my five-year-old so this is where we're heading today scudic point but we're stopping on the way. I mean, this isn't a massive peninsula, so we're stopping on the way for something called Raven's Nest. So Marissa's done some digging, and she's got some spots that are not on the national park map anymore. I think they used to be. Um, so it's gonna be kind of our little, our little secret <laughs> on these spots. Yeah, they <laughs> they took some stuff off of the park map, mm -hmm. and so thanks to our awesome patrons, I got some inside scoop and have some GPS coordinates so we can go check out some awesome stuff. Yeah, so we'll be showing you guys. Um, it's a one-way loop, so if we miss it, we have to loop back around, and we are not the world's best <laughs> at finding things. So we're really hoping between us and Brendan and our five-year-old <laughs> that we'll figure this out. <laughs> very easy to miss it is easy to miss and I it's the <laughs> a key point that Marissa could have said is the only pullout we've seen it's on the left side well I said the third no, pull out. The second one on the left. I saw it oh well uh -huh. so Since we missed Raven's Nest, we're gonna have to circle back around and do that again. So don't miss your stop. Um, but it's an awesome, beautiful drive, so not that we're complaining. So now we're at Scudic Point. So let's just check that out and then we'll circle back around and check out Raven's Nest. You excited? Yes. Yeah. yeah, loving the extra help here. I feel like a sissy without a bike. Everybody's got a bike. Man. <laughs> Long way from Tennessee, aren't we, Hensley? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never seen anything like this. No, we've never seen anything like this. 
this is this is like <coughs> exactly what I envisioned. Right. But you know, but even better. Yeah, Brenda's talking about how you can't. We try on video. You just can't capture the feelings, the breeze we're feeling right now. The smell. The smell, just everything around you. Just you can, your you eyes. Gotta see it. You gotta see it. Your eyes just, it doesn't do it justice on video and film. You just have to get out and see this. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Look at that, Hello. Leslie. Hello, <laughs> 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 Some really wild stuff oh, out here. I bet. So if you're on the Scudic Peninsula, there's nowhere near as many things to do as the Bar Harbor Peninsula. But as we've shown, like what is here is really awesome. And now this is a little different too. So we're at this stand. Yeah, their dogs are <laughs> literally hot pink. Look at this hot pink hot dog. <laughs> I was super skeptical at first, but. It does taste normal. It tastes better, good. Yeah, it's, good. it's got a great taste to it. Yeah, are you ready for a hot pink dog, Hensley? Hot pink dog. Hot pink dog. Yeah. Ooh, that is really pink. <laughs> super I mean, it's crazy how pink they are. Look at the face. <laughs> uh, you, got, you got this, Hensley. Pink's your favorite color. It matches yeah. your boots perfectly. That's the way to do it. Everything oh, I do. Oh my goodness. Do it, Hensley. Do it. Do it. <laughs> it tastes just like a hot dog, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. What have you done? <laughs> you know, you ordered this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so blueberry soft serve, which I've never had. Blueberry well, espresso. When you're, in, when you're in Maine, you have to get blueberry stuff. So blueberry espresso, yum. Wow. I didn't know, but they have the blueberry cookie sandwich. You know I that? saw that. After, Why did you not? Know after I paid, and I, I knew. Know, you'd want I know. I know. That's what I wanted. Next time, maybe. <laughs> Next time. This is round two. Doing the loop again. <laughs> Seeing if we can find a parking spot. Oh, this is the only one. We can sure. pass this. <laughs> That was close. I was touch and go for a minute. I was gonna scope this out. Some of the pictures I've seen show that it may not be kid friendly. And then uh, if we have to, we'll just trade off. Uh, I guess if we split, looks like it can go either way. Ooh. Whoa. Check that out. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, if you're afraid of heights, it's probably your time to uh, turn your head for a minute. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Hear that echo? Listen to that, man. This I'll, is a I'll just spot. go back and swap them wrists. It's probably going to be the plan. Yeah, this is a neat <laughs> spot, but this is definitely not bringing it to Wow. So I could totally see some people doing some crazy stuff out here, and I can see why they no longer have it officially marked. Not that there's nothing wrong with being out here. They still have the signs, they have the ropes. But I think they've just kept it a little lower key as far as people coming out. It's a for little, good reason. A li little more dangerous, for yeah. sure. So the trail splits in several places. Oh, that looks crazy. Look at that. Man. This just, this looks crazier out there, you know? I know the camera doesn't do this justice, like how. Ah. <laughs> uh, I think people could probably get an idea <laughs> of what we're looking at here. <laughs> Man. Wow. I think that's what makes it. I guess is that maybe that's, cool. that's the raven's nest yeah. there. Look at that. You come out there and got this little nest area out here. That is just, that is incredible. All right. This is as far as they're going. You want to go check trade? it out? Yep. Trade, trade off. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Here's the birds. It's awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> It is like Angel's Landing. Cool spot. <laughs> and it's, I love things that are off the beaten path. Like, I mean, we got this all to ourselves. Usually epic spots like this are 
super touristy and you can't you know even move but this is so cool that this is just solitude out here in the sun's coming down it's awesome So we moved this morning from the Skudik campground on the Skudik Peninsula, which I think might be right over here, maybe. Not 100% sure, but if nothing else, pretty cool view. So we scored this site. We didn't want this, it felt like it was like right in the road, but right here next to it, because we could only find water and electric. And when I say fine, of course we didn't make reservations. <laughs> so we came out here and um, this is Bar Harbor Campground. What I do like, some people like this, some people don't like this. First come, first serve. There's not a lot of these places that are all first come, first serve anymore. So we got here before 10, picked out our site, and uh, pretty good, happy with it. We got sort of a little area tucked in here. This is really nice. We're kind of sharing this area with <laughs> a couple in a van that are over here, but they seem to be gone most of the time. Well, they do have full hookups, just water and electric like us, and then they have some sites that have nothing. I like the first come, first serve nature of this campground. I like the location of this campground because we are like just minutes outside the national park and you can also use the shuttle system for the national park which is awesome too made some burgers on this today so what i've done i've actually stopped using the grill that i had because it was pretty much a griddle anyways and i was like why are we hauling that thing around so i've got a griddle that i put on this outdoor kitchen and we're good to go all right yeah bring it I mean, bring that, the energy that bed is really comfortable oh good it really we is we put a topper on it so i haven't tried it it's good no it is great good yeah it's a good sleep yeah I've we uh been this has been brendan's spot up here of course marissa just comes back here as needed which as needed was like half the night last night i got about four hours so. oh <laughs> all right good snacks check extra caffeine check where are we going boss Oh, don't you worry about it. You know I've got a plane. Yeah, yeah, bad. <laughs> Here's a map right here. Let's just, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's, let's just go. That's a lush room. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ooh, Hensley. Keep <laughs> going. Hello. It's a crab. By the ocean shore. You gonna touch the water? I'm pretty scared. <laughs> go. Just don't let it go up in your boots. A little one. You try. Whoa, he's like... This is like kind of out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. This is the only beach area here, right? I want to think it is. That's why it gets super crowded here when, when it's a little warmer. Yeah, yeah, like I got my hoodie on. Even when uh... it's warm though, the water's still really cold, so... Mm. But... Ah! I'm gonna stand on one foot. You're gonna stand on one foot? Most everything's like this. You got the rocky shore going on. This is beautiful. There she goes. You wanna get in, bud? <laughs> you keep waking up in weird places, don't you? He does. <laughs> He's like, now I'm at the beach. We're waiting in line. Just, here's the line. I don't know how many people are in it exactly, but probably been here what 20 minutes maybe so far. <laughs> well, this is a big sunset spot. We're not actually here for sunset, but I think we just timed it where everybody's coming in at the same time. So when that happens in a national park, you get like a one in one out type deal where everybody waits to turn, waits for one person to leave, the one car gets to go in because you got this tiny little parking lot. Still a working lighthouse. That's cool. You can't, so that's why you can't tour it, but you can just check it out. Wait for Brendan to get back. Brendan's taking his turn. I don't think we can turn around anyways. I think that's something you gotta pay attention to when you do these national parks, is like, 
we've talked about the time frame. We usually talk about you want to get there early in the day to beat the crowds, but then you've also got things like this where if maybe you do or don't realize, like this is like a you know a sunset spot, um, and if you don't realize that, then you're you're in line along with like 30 other cars <laughs> trying to get in. I knew it was, and I knew that it was. But we're like an hour before sunset. Well, I thought it would be people okay. are here early, man. There goes people doing the same thing we're doing. They're just they're just getting out of the cars and walking up here. And... All right, Brendan's taking his turn. This is a tiny little parking lot, man. That's it. That's all the parking. That's it. <laughs> There's like 20 cars. <laughs> oh, this feels incredible. Ooh, Hensley, there it is. I don't see anything. Oh, you're coming to it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? There it is. Do you see it? Look, look up. Everybody's setting up for yeah, showtime. Yeah. What do you think, babe? That's awesome. Yeah, it's incredible. Right around this corner. No, look at that. Look, I love you. You have to do a little bit of rock scrambling to actually get down and see the view because it's hard to see without climbing down on these rocks. But that is so incredible. Look at this. So cool. You think it's pretty? It's quiet, yeah. like you don't, I mean, I, it, you obviously you hear the dinging of the buoys or whatever that is, but. It's... Sunset here is absolutely gorgeous. This is so pretty. You let me touch those? Touch what? Those? Why do you want to touch them? Because I want to feel like french fries. <laughs> oh, you think those look like french fries? All right, let's go touch them. A happy meal. <laughs> do they feel like french fries? No. Do they? Smell like french fries? No. Oh. Hey JJ. What do you think, buddy? He's loving it. Look at that. So it's just me and Brendan this morning. So we're doing a couple of, well the main reason is because of the hike we're doing. But <laughs> a little more intense. This is a side uh, side trek. So sort of like Raven's Nest. Um, this is another spot that the National Park Service, it's not that you can't do this, because I mean there's still the path, there's nothing marking not to do it, but they don't um, promote it like they used to on the maps and having the signs up and all that. So we're pretty sure this is the right trail because <laughs> this definitely used to be something. I don't know too much about this. Is this like a underwater cave? I think is how it's been described. So you have to time it with the tide. So we've timed it with low tides so we can actually go in and check it out. Because obviously high tide, it's gonna be underwater. <laughs> I said that you would come out on top of it okay. and you would kind of be standing above it. Or maybe over there. Uh, yeah, that, that, looks, that looks pretty cavey. Yeah, right there. Here we go. Yeah, all this was under just a little while ago. Cool. How far does that go back in there? Oh, wow. Get on your belly, see how far it goes. No, that's it. <laughs> it actually loops around right here. Huh. It's my favorite part, just this water coming in, filling up here, and then going back out. Like another world, isn't it? It's pretty cool. It's crazy. Sell our RV and live on a boat. This is probably as close as we're gonna to get to something like that. We're not. <laughs> we are not boat people. We get lost too much RVing. <laughs> so this will be the last shot with the big camera because I need both hands for this trail. Anything else to say? <laughs> this should be fun. <sighs> Anything we need to know? I'm already out of breath. We just made it to the sign. Okay. Let's just do it. When's this flatten out? <laughs> <laughs> Very vertical route. Falls of resistance. Fear of heights. Okay. Falls on this mountain have resulted in serious injury and death. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Talk about scrambling. Straight up, straight down. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. All the good views are up. So ladders galore. Somebody got a hold of that one or something. Yeah. 
think I already met my exercise goal for today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh wow. I think this is where, if you have a sincere fear of heights, it starts kicking in. Yep. Oh man, dude. Yeah, let's check it out. Like, unreal. <sighs> so I think, I think we're getting close to the grand finale here. <laughs> I think we're close though. <laughs> it's like you're, that's good, that's awesome. I mean, they've got them down here too. That's definitely a bonus. Yeah, <laughs> Which maybe this is a good way to trip. I don't know. This rock is all sloped. Oh, it is. It's so, it's sloped and, oh, look at that. Wow. I think we're getting close. I see the vegetation up there. Oh, almost there. Oh, I can't, I can't get up that. I'm done. We gotta turn around. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Here's the top, check it out. So of course a hike like this, a lot of comparisons come to mind, I guess, of like Angel's Landing. I'm gonna say this is more difficult and probably more technical than Angel's Landing, but the overall um, adrenaline rush of there being a cliff on both sides, Angel's Landing's ahead on that. Yeah, Brandon said this is worth the whole flight down just for this, this one experience. Absolutely. <laughs> check it out, Bar Harbor. I love Acadia. It's awesome. Yeah. It's a really beautiful park. We've been to some really beautiful places, mm -hmm. but this is definitely one of my favorites. Like, I'm falling in love. I love it. <laughs> it's different. Um, the shorelines are different. The trees are different. Mm -hmm. The weather's brisk and it, the, the skies. We, we thought, like, change of peninsulas over here. Like, I wouldn't see stars, but you still see tons of stars even over here at Bar Harbor. Oh, and I made it back from a hike, by the way. So I know. I'm I know you're... super jealous. <laughs> I think that I should go and you watch the kids. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. No, we'll I want to do it with, with you. Well, yeah. you're, you're going to go with somebody. We're going to see. We might do, um, there's another one called Beehive here that's similar. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a little bit shorter, but also supposed to be really good, kind of similar concept. Yeah, we love to hike, but our hiking days have changed just a little bit. <sighs> they start to be limited <laughs> with the kids. Yeah. Um, especially something like Precipice. Well, the kids. kind of hiking we like to do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We do little strolls around a pond or something sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, you do what you can do. Yeah, and, um, exactly. And I think that's the big thing is there's some all things for all people of all ages in and around this area. So definitely check it out. Motherhood <laughs> is a workout itself. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're always in workout attire because... It's true. 24-7 workout. It is. It is. I'm geared up all day <laughs> for any circumstance to come <laughs> so my hack was just a little bit different than your hack <laughs> so that's our journey for today if you got questions comments you want to see exclusive video um that there's some stuff we filmed and shared with patrons that doesn't make it to youtube that we've got on our patreon channel if you want to check that out but for us <laughs> we're tired <laughs> we're, <I'm, laughs> motherhood hiking the whole thing we're just tired we're gonna be calling a day until next time we will catch you guys later